Hello everyone, welcome back to Construction, Safety and Health. Today we are going to look at another topic which is OSH inspections. The lesson outline for this topic would be, first of all, to look at the definition, next, the types of OSH inspection, the inspection team, inspection steps, and finally, the OSH inspection checklist. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to define the term OSH inspection, differentiate the types of OSH inspection, identify the key personnel in an inspection team, and list the basic contents of an inspection checklist. Before we go further into the topic, we need to understand what OSH inspection mean. OSH is an abbreviation of Occupational Safety and Health. Occupational means something relating to a job or profession. Safety is the condition of being protected from or unlikely to cause danger, risks or injury. Health is the state of being free from illness or injury, while inspection is the careful examination or assessment. Therefore, OSH inspection can be defined as a careful assessment of the condition of protection against danger, risk and injury and being free from illness in relation to a job or profession. Workplace Inspection Workplace inspection shall be conducted in order to assess the OSH implementation at the site. There are two checklists developed to assess the workplace. The first checklist will be to assess the general OSH management implementation and facilities at site. The second checklist is to exclusively assess three high-risk construction work activities currently ongoing on-site at the time of assessment. These construction projects preferably have high-risk works such as working at height, mechanical lifting operation activities, concreting works, and others. The location and high-risk activities will be determined by the assessor. The assessor may also discuss with the principal contractor prior to selection of these high-risk activities currently ongoing during the assessment. Both workplace inspection checklist or assessment shall provide the assessor with the valuable visual comparison evidence on the OSH program implemented, enforced and practiced at the site or workplace. Types of OSH inspection Generally, there are three different types of OSH inspections. First is the formal or plan inspection. This is normally done by using a written checklist and carried out by a team at regular intervals. The second type is the informal or on-the-spot inspection. This is done by the management supervisors and safety and health committee or representatives mm -hmm. by observing the area for unsafe acts and conditions and noting the issues in the daily log or by completing a simple form. The third type of OSH inspection is the specialized or critical parts inspection. This is conducted by specialists on items such as boilers, electrical equipment, mechanical or ventilation systems. Let's look further on the formal or planned inspection. People, equipment, materials and the environment are constantly changing. Some changes remove the previous hazard. Others create new hazards. Thus, Inspection focuses on these changes and help identify these exposures and solve the problems timely. 
Good planned safety inspections aim at identifying number one, potential safety problems such as unsafe equipment, poor housekeeping practices, fire and explosion hazards. Second, potential equipment deficiencies including unsafe design, inadequate guards on machines and equipment, defective work tools and equipment. Third, potential unsafe acts by employees including improper lifting, using equipment unsafely, making safety devices inoperable, or failing to use personal protective equipment, PPE. The second type of OSH inspection is the informal or on-the-spot inspection. Informal or spot inspections are made on a daily basis by the supervisor within his department to check and see that number one, tools, machinery and equipment are in safe operating conditions. Number two, aisle and passageways are clear and unobstructed. Number three, good housekeeping is maintained. Number four, employees are complying with established safety rules. The frontline supervisors are the key participants in all workplace inspection since they are in the best position with sound knowledge of the equipment, procedures, materials and people and they know the hazards and they could suggest remedial actions. The third type of OSH inspection is the specialized or critical parts inspection. The critical inspection is the daily inspection of checking the operating equipment by the operating personnel as part of their work procedure. The items should be inspected are any piece of equipment or machinery which could cause bodily harm to the employees. For example, critical equipment that should be inspected on a daily basis include overhead crane cables, hooks, fire extinguishers, elevators, PPE, etc. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you.